And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Happy Friday to everybody out there. One more summer-like day that we have to get through before we can finally say hello to those cooler temperatures that hopefully sticks around for the rest of the year. But 90 is likely for today. Our record high for today is 95, so we're going to get a little bit close to that. Got about 93 or 94 for high in Amarillo. Temperatures today pretty similar to what we've seen the past couple of days. Hit about 95 or 94 on Wednesday and then 92 on Thursday, probably in that general range for today. And breezy conditions for closing out the work week as well. Sustained winds maybe at about 15 to 25 miles per hour so another one of those days where if you have any decorations outside may want to keep an eye on them either anchor them down pretty heavily or just bring them inside if you feel it's necessary not only for today but through the weekend as well we're going to stay windy through sunday but mostly sunny skies for today not really expecting much of a storm chance for a lot of the area can't rule out one or two stray pop-up showers weak storms here and there but i don't think it's anything you have to cancel any plans for so if you want to go out and make some plans watch some friday night football go right ahead just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as for tomorrow a little bit more of a storm chance but even then, this is going to be mainly confined to the western part of the area. I'll talk about that more in detail in a second. But much cooler temperatures as well. Not Probably not getting into the 90s for tomorrow. We've got a high of about 87 degrees. 20% chance of storms. Like I said, wind staying breezy at about 10 to 15, excuse me, 15 to 25 miles per hour. So, more specifically for tomorrow, during the daytime hours, probably a mix of sun and clouds, a drizzle in spots here and there, but mostly dry through about maybe 7 or 8 o'clock and then we'll see storms and showers enter the western part of the area into those New Mexico counties and any storms that look to move in do look to be fairly weak but as you can notice they don't make it very far into the Texas panhandle like I said just mainly confined over toward New Mexico so places like Amarillo especially over toward Pampa Canadian Shamrock probably not as high of a chance of any measurable amount of rainfall. And it's going to be kind of the same setup for Sunday as well. That's why we only have a 20% chance for both weekend days. But a breezy next few days, sustained winds, like I said, about 15 to 25 miles per hour for the next three days. But you notice a steady cool down of temperatures over the next several days, mid 80s on Sunday, right around 80 for Monday and Tuesday next week with a little bit more of a storm chance. I'm thinking Monday and Tuesday is going to be our better days for a storm chance in the area. Then we're going to see a cold front come through Tuesday night, and that's going to give us our first First true taste of fall where we couldn't talk where we could be talking about lows in the 40s.